The blues and American original, jazz, soul, rock and roll all came out of it, yet it is still popular on its own after over a hundred years. Popular not just in America, but all over the world. Come and join me on this little journey through the blues every Saturday night at 10 p.m. at KMRE 102.3 FM, Boosie's Playhouse, Classic Blues Hour. Hey, welcome to KMRE 102.3 FM in Bellingham, and salutes to you if you're listening to us online as we are streaming live right now at the KMRE uh, website, and you click on Listen Now, you can hear us that way. I'll tell you what, uh, whether you hear us this way or that, you're going to enjoy tonight's show. Tonight is Woman's Night, Ladies' Night. Oh, we got it all. All the female type singers are going to be on this evening and we're going to be celebrating their work in the blues. My name is Boosie and this is Boosie's Playhouse. I play what I like and I know you're going to like it. All right. Well, first of all, um, I just want to start off by saying that, you know, men do kind of dominate the blues feel that and I don't think it necessarily means that men are generally more blue than women I think after the end of the show you will understand that women get the blues we get the blues just like men and we have some heart I tell you what you know we've got some things going on uh working inside of us and uh, these ladies are going to be singing about uh their men and their lives their hearts their faith they're going to be singing about uh all kinds of things, and it is a heartfelt evening of the blues. I've got some new genres of blues that are going to be coming out um, in the next hour, some country blues, some soul blues, a little jazz blues, but it's all blues. First off, I want to give um, some recognition to the first recorded jazz singer, and that was uh, Mammy Smith. She's considered a classic female blues singer and basically kind of opened the door um, in the recording industry for women to record the blues and make some money. Uh, This is 1920s, okay? So there are a lot of things going on socially. And then here are these talented black ladies that show up and they can sing. What do you do? How do you make money? How does it work? Well, someone had to take that first step, and uh, that's Mammy Smith. The classic female blues, or more accurately, the vaudeville blues, was a field dominated by women singers that enjoyed its heyday in the 1920s. Mammy Smith, an educated city girl from the west end of Cincinnati, was something of an abnormality among classic female blues singers. Most of the women were from the south and toured on the TOBA booking circuit. After the 1930s, though, with the advent of popular singers in a non-classic blues vein, the genre went into a slow decline. And although its impact on jazz was still felt, uh, the R&B shouters came and dominated the field. Classic female blues singers disappeared altogether. However, examples of Mammy Smith and Bessie Smith is still felt strongly in the work of 1960s rock writers rock artist Janis Joplin, who we will also be hearing this evening. We're going to hear all three of these ladies, and um, I think you will see, you know, there's a different, as each one is recorded from the 20s, 30s, and the 60s, you'll see, uh, you'll, technology changed. Yes, it did. And there's that scratchiness, you know, in the old stuff. But you got to stay with it. You got to hear the heart. It takes a little while. Your ear has to adjust to this sound. And we're so used to hearing uh, digital music. It's clear, you know. Uh, But listen to the heart. Listen to the words. And you will still find some rewards in the uh, 1920s blues music for sure. With that said, oh my goodness. All right. Are you ladies ready? All right. They say they are. First off, we got. Mammy Smith. Mammy Smith is going to be our first lady of the evening, and she is going to uh, get us started, just like she did in 1920 with this hit, Crazy Blues. Thank you. 
Me and my 
any bootlegger show is a pal of mine. Any bootlegger show is a pal of mine. Cause a good old bottle of gin will get it all the time. Okay, just like I promised, we started off with the three classic ladies of the blues. We had some um, Mammy Smith Crazy Blues, Sippy Wallace, Women Be Wise, and ended that uh, first set with Bessie Smith, Me and My Gin. Bessie Smith is a very inspirational lady. She's not related to Mammy Smith by any way, except for the fact that she is also one of the first pioneering women in the blues industry. She, of course, was also influenced by Ma Rainey, but uh, she started her professional singing with the troupe in 1912. She was turned down twice by record labels, one owned by Thomas Edison, for sounding too rough and being too dark. She signed with Columbia in 1923, and from the moment her album was released, she blew away the competition. Over the next four years, she recorded over 150 songs for Columbia. However, the coming of the Great Depression almost annihilated the record business. Her final recording session was in 1933. Her last recording session was in 1933, but um, uh, she passed away in 1937. During those five years, she continued to perform live. Uh, Great Depression or not, she wasn't going to let it keep her from her art. She was a woman who was told, uh, you're too fat and you sound too raspy, um, and uh, you're too dark. We can't do anything with you. And uh, she disagreed, kept going, got a job, got a record label contract with Columbia, proved them wrong. A lady's got guts. All right. Thank you, Bessie Smith, for your courage and your talent in sharing it with the world. We're just going to keep on going. We're not going to even skip a beat. We are about to enter, you and I, a 30-minute block of the blues. And we're going to get it off. Start it off right uh, with some Etta James in Tell Mama. Tell Mama. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. 
feel so funny, I feel so sad I want a little steam on my clothes Maybe I can fix things up so they'll go What's the matter, Daddy? Come on, save my soul I need some sugar in my bowl, I ain't fooling I want some sugar in my bowl You've been acting different, I've been told Soothe me, I want some sugar in my bowl I want some steam on my clothes Maybe I can fix things up so they'll go What's the matter, Daddy? Come on, save my soul. I want some sugar in my bowl. I ain't fooling. I want some sugar in my bowl. Thank you. 
30 minutes of the blues, the ladies' blues. It's ladies' night tonight at uh, Boosie's Playhouse at KMRE 102.3 FM in Bellingham and streaming live via the internets, all of them, every single one. You know, you can't go too long into a conversation about the history of ladies and the blues without uh, touching on Billie Holiday. Billie's song, Strange Fruit, was recorded in 1939, and it was actually a poem written by a teacher, Abel uh, Mirapol. The song exposed American racism, particularly the lynching of African Americans. In 1978, Holiday's version of the song was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. It was also included in the list of Songs of the Century by the Recording Industry of America and the National Endowment of the Arts. This song is history, our history. Billy Holiday, Strange Fruit. Gallant South The 
bulging ass and the twisted mouth scent of magnolia sweet and fresh then the sudden smell of burning flesh here is a fruit for the crows to pluck for the rain together for the wind to suck for the sun to rot for the tree to drop he is a strange and bitter Don't wanna go insane. Listen, 
Do I move you? Are you willing? Do I groove you? Is it thrilling? Do I soothe you? Tell the truth now. That pleases me Are you ready For this action Does it give you Satisfaction Do you quiver From your head Down to your liver If you like it Let me know it Don't be Quite a set. That was some uh, Billy Holiday, Strange Fruit, Big Mama Thornton, Ball and Chain, Janis Joplin, One Good Man, and Nina Simone. Do I move you? And I have to tell you, I was moved. I was I was moved uh, into the other room, another state. Maybe just I've left the country. I'm not sure, but I was moved. And uh, it was good. It was really good. All kinds of good tonight. Lots of history and um, some wonderful female blues singers this evening. Some soul blues, some country blues, um, some Vladivere blues, which is, say that ten times fast, I'll tell you what. Uh, Good stuff tonight and great ladies, of course. Um, Of course, this wonderful hour has been brought to you by uh, Boosie's Playhouse. And Boosie, who's that? Oh, that would be me at uh, KMRE 102.3 FM in Bellingham. You hear me every Saturday night at 10. I will always be here, and uh, we will take a little walk through the blues together. The last song coming up on our hour, I have kind of a special tribute to one of my friends, and uh, it's a very dear friend of mine. She knows who she is. And I think perhaps when you hear the music tonight, you'll, you'll feel like, oh my God, I think I might be that person or I've been in that place before. You don't have to be a, f- a woman, you know. You can be a guy going through this. It's no problem. Bonnie Raitt is kind of uh, goes into the country blues uh, realm sometimes you got to wonder oh my god you know where does this song fit on the shelf you know is it country is it blues is it folk what the heck is this and um, that's okay sometimes that happens and that's how it is we get cross performers get cross uh, influenced but angels from montgomery is a beautiful song lyrics by uh, john pine 
He was born in 1946 in Illinois, and in the 1960s was a big country and Chicago blues performer. So he himself did country and Chicago blues, kind of mixed it up a little bit. He was encouraged to write this song by his friend, uh, who said um, very candidly, you know, why don't you write another song about old people? <laughs> and uh, he thought, hmm, well, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, he got... <laughs> He got to thinking and looking around his world a little bit and he started thinking about a middle-aged woman who feels older than she is and he said he saw a vivid picture of this woman standing over the dishwasher with some soap in her hands, maybe not feeling as clean as her dishes were getting. She wanted to get out of her house and out of her marriage and out of everything. She wanted an angel to come down and take her away from all of this. Ooh, whether or not you actually go through with it and you just leave, don't you ever have one of those feelings where you're just pausing for a moment and you're thinking and you're looking, maybe staring at something too long, and in your heart you're just wishing, I just want an angel to show up and take me away from all of this. I'll tell you, that's that's being human. That's what the blues are all about. This song is for my friend, and I want you to know I am here for you. I will be with you through this, and uh, it's not everything's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be all right. Y'all have a good evening, and thanks for listening to the Playhouse tonight. God bless.
Hi, this is Boosie Vox. You know, Beethoven said music is a higher revelation than all wisdom and philosophy. Get smart and stay smart with KMRE 102.3 FM, broadcasting out of Bellingham.